Welcome back with the update on Slamet in Indonesia. The seismic activity is persisting and it's triggered the volcano alert level to raise to 2 or yellow. The elevated seismic activity of the volcano continues to be recorded during the first 18 days of October. The PVMBG seismic network detected 24 tectonic quakes with, with amplitude range ranging between 0.2 to 6 millimeters on October 1st, an increased 78-minute-long lasting amplitude of tremor was monitored. The EDM data continues to detect a slight uplift at the silic station and the deflation at the Bunsis and Durangmengu stations. Since July 2023, instruments have monitored the continuing inflation of 30 microradions at uh, 1,500 meters above sea level during October 11th through the 18th. The tilt meter station at the altitude of 2,000 meters detected a ground uplift by 40 microradions. I don't know how large a microradion is, but anyways, but it's detectable. So anyways, whether the activity will continue to increase is not clear yet, but rapid gain in inflation of the ground surface relating to the accumulation of magma or the exulsion of gas res inside reservoirs or Propagation of magma through intrusions or conduits might culminate in a sudden phreatic eruption. Phreatic explosions form when the ejecta consists solely of old country rock, indicating interaction between water and heated conduit rocks rather than magma itself. If magma gets involved, then it's called phreatobagmatic eruptions or other various types of eruptions, depending on what happens. Despite the ongoing elevated activity, a decision has been made to raise the alert level from the, for the volcano from level 1 to level 2. And to mitigate the current risk, people are advised to avoid the, in the area of about 2 kilometers. You don't, basically don't go within a 2 kilometer radius of the volcano, and you should be good. So with that, that's about it. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.